I next, love next up, we got we got a controversy. Ooh. Uh, so uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about this, but uh, there have been protest trucks outside of JBTC about Jisoo's new drama, Snowdrop, because the show is a dark comedy that takes place in the mid-1980s, which is around when there were a lot of um, student protests in South Korea to get democracy. Um, And the premise of the show is that Jisoo's character is a nursing student who finds a... uh, like injured student protester who turns out to be a North Korean spy. So the controversy about this is that a lot of what, uh, a lot of how the government um, cracked down on the student protesters was that they claimed they were North Mm -hmm. Korean citizens, North Korean spies. And a lot of people are still in prison for that. And apparently Jisoo's character um, has a name well she it had a name similar to a real nursing student who was involved in the protest but they just changed the name uh, now jbtc has clarified that this isn't going to be it, it's purely fictional it's not going to have really any kind of political implications and at the end of the day it's going to be you know not making a mockery of their history but uh, now even K Blinks are sending protest trucks because they don't want Jisoo's reputation to be ruined. Mm. That's yeah, that's hard because it has a that has like a history, and it seems kind of like I don't know, just a skewed mm-hmm. one. Like it seems like there's a lot of gray area around it. So I could see why, like, be problematic. I'm really sad because I was really looking forward to it because it's Jisoo and Jung Hae-in, and I love Jung Hae-in. Like, mm-hmm. that's my man. So, um, but that's so interesting. I really didn't know that history. So that's actually, I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to read more about it after this mm-hmm. to understand it Yeah, more. so at first I was like, well, in American cinema and stuff, we always do a lot of like, oh, a horror movie in the Civil War or, uh, you know, like, you know, we do like or Django Unchained or, you know, we'll, we'll do fictionalized things about the past. But I also had to remember a lot of it is social commentary. And I don't really know what the aim of the social commentary of the show is or if there is any intent to mm-hmm. be a social commentary like um. And then I also was like, it's pretty recent and nobody's done like, you know, let's do a dark romantic comedy about the Rodney King riots. I feel like that would be like the equivalent. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I see why this would be um, a cultural issue. Um, Yeah. So. Especially because people are still in jail for it, even though they are now a democracy. Yeah. Like. That's yeah, insane. so um, I don't know what what they were expecting, especially considering there's kind of been a huge rise in nationalism globally, um, but also specifically in South mm-hmm. Korea. So like, um, I don't know what the writer was thinking, <laughs> but I also don't think. Yeah, they probably just. Oh, I was gonna say I don't think Jisoo Sorry. would pick a project that she thinks would be offensive i don't think yg would let her yeah it's probably just because it sounds like a, an interesting premise mm-hmm. but again like i could see how it could work if it was mostly based you know in fiction but again like all of the ties here sound very weird mm-hmm. any thoughts skylar that's all <laughs> I've just been listening to you guys and just staring. Um, yeah, I, I I agree. I think the is you said the dark mm-hmm. comedy. Yeah, the dark comedy part really yeah. makes it even worse. I'll be honest. Yeah. You know what an interesting genre to choose about to choose with something that's like kind of polarizing and like a controversial topic. 
But, you know, it's kind of think makes you think about filmmakers, actors, really everyone involved in making art. People just think they can make whatever they want to make. They don't really think about, should I make this sometimes? Or is this okay, especially when you're adapting a real life issue? And um, I guess there's a responsibility of the artist. I don't understand. I don't know. I'm not saying much because I don't really know about the topic that much. But like, um, you know, maybe not to make these things or to call in people that, you know, maybe say something like maybe it should be a dark comedy, you know. Yeah. Who knows? We'll see. Or get like experts, you know. Yeah, totally.